Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. On this channel, we learn ethical hacking using public capture the flag challenges. And today we're going to be completing a machine from Hack the Box called Bank. This is supposed to teach us some Linux enumeration, initial access, and also hopefully something fun. So if you're interested in learning ethical hacking, let's jump in and I'll show you some of my methodology on how I approach these capture the flag challenges to learn cybersecurity skills. So first I'll go to hack the box. Um, this is going to be a retired machine. So I'll go to machines, retired. I'm choosing one called bank and this is an easy machine. 4.3, so that's a good rating out of five, I believe. So let's start this. Spawn the machine. So maybe let's use the guided mode. We can use adventure mode if you wanted to, but let's use guided mode so that we can learn some of these things so it's stunning the machine is spawning right now i'm going to connect to hack the box using my own Kali linux machine so here i have a vpn folder i keep all kinds of vpn access that i have to different ctfs and for this one we're going to go to the hack the box dot vpn so i'll say open vpn so you need to connect to hack the box vpn and there's instructions on how to do that let's verify that we have connectivity by looking for a tunnel. So I'm 10, 10, 14, three. That's my tunnel network. To stay organized, I'll go to my machines, hack the box, and then I'll make a folder for it. Called bank. So we can stay organized in here. All right, so our machine has started 10, 10, 10, 29. Let's go to our attacker machine and run an Nmap scan. Nmap. SC for safe script default uh, service versions output to a file called bank and then let's use dash vv this will show us in real time what we are doing so we discovered 22 53 and 80 what well, before it finishes let me see if it's just those three all right so this guided mode show, says that we have three what virtual host retains a website that is in the default Ubuntu Apache page? Okay, so we need to go and add our um, machine to Etsy host first and then visit it. Nano such Etsy host. Don't mind my Etsy host, it's a mess. I don't clean it up. 10.10.10.29 bank dot hack the box. So we always add the name of the machine dot hack the box for hack the box stuff. Now let's visit it. GP. All right, so visiting in the URL, bank.hackthebox, it asks us for a login page. So that's the domain. By default, that's what we give to hack the box for all machines. It's like a workflow that we do. Okay. What is the relative path of the web server that allows directory listing and shows a bunch of account files? So this is pointing us that we need to run a GoBuster here. So here's what we'll do. We need to enumerate subdirectories, right? So let's enumerate for subdirectories by using GoBuster in der mode, looking for directories on the site. Uh, the URL is HTTP bank .hack the box. The word list is going to be the medium dot text. And we're looking for extensions, PHP, HTML and text. Oh, this is quick. I was going to say this will help us find other locations on the site that we don't know about. So we have uploads, we have support. Oh, I like support a lot. I also like upload. Sounds good too. What is the relative path on the web server that allows direct listing and shows a bunch of dot account files? Oh, wait a second. We have uploads, but we also have slash ink. Ink is consistent with dot ACC, I think. I and C. There we go. Uh, User.php. Nothing. Ticket.php. Back to here. Uploads. All right. So that is not working. Let's let it keep working on this then. So I just left it running and coming back. I see that I've balanced transfer. That's interesting. So going to a browser visiting slash balance transfer. We see a bunch of these here. Um, one thing to note right away is that there are random numbers dot ACC. So it looks like this is what they are asking for in our guide here. Like 
they just want us to give them that is a slash balance transfer i hope we can do that and submit yes which account stands out is different from the others right away i see that the size here this is just like burp suite in burp suite you can see the size as well uh 584 so to stand out see if there's another one with a different size that's not oh they look like they're all the same sizes so what stands out here they're all named the same 584 583 okay let me open one of these let's open with um vim okay so the name we can try to decode these maybe it's base 64 encoded uh there's passwords credit cards five or oh, this is some uh bank information so we can try to go to cyberchef try to see if this is uh base 64 or not but let's save some some time by going back and try to figure out why do, are they asking us that there's one that is different is it because there's one that's smaller or bigger because the names are the same the only thing I can think of is either the date or the size. Is there a way for me to sort these by size or date? Yeah, let's click on the size here. Okay, okay, okay. I was wrong. Here is another one that's 257 by sorting by size. So this one is different. We know that the other ones have encrypted data. What's different about this one? Let's open it with um, Vim, like what we did last time. Or G edit sure. All right, so as you can see at the top here, we see name Christopher. <laughs> okay, uh, here's an email and here's a password. We can try to SSH with this username and password. Uh, it's Chris at bank.hdb. So it is this file. Let's give them the name. Here we found it. It's this one. Optional question. There is an alternative way to bypass the login from on bank without finding the creds for Chris. What kind of vulnerability uh, allows this? Choose from UAR. Okay, I don't know what that is. I will probably need to go and figure it out. What, what file extension will be execute as PHP for debugging purposes? Don't include the dot in your answer. Or well, what are they talking about? Check out HTML comments for support for the support page. Okay, let's go sign in. Okay, login. We found this username. We found a password. Taking it easy and following some instructions. So we are in here. We see some information about support. Here's a balance. So Christopher, we are in your account support support choose a file we can actually say i need help we need to we can create a ticket help please subscribe yeah you need to subscribe if you haven't please uh, choose a file but before we do that let's look in the page source see what kind of extension are they looking search for upload i'm, I'm complicating things here they're saying Debug, I added the file extension .hdb to execute as PHP for debugging purposes only. Okay, that was CTF classic. I don't think in the real world we see that, but they edited HDB extension. That was silly, but always check the page source. What user is the web server running as? So this is pointing us to saying, hey, if you can upload a file, uh, with .hdb, so we just need to go and choose a file, name it .hdb, and it will execute as PHP. So let's locate a simple PHP reverse shell. I'll grab the one from Pentest Monkey. This is the lazy one. This will get detected like nobody's business if you use this in a real engagement. But for our sake here, we're just borrowing that. Nano shell .php. Uh, dot hdb we know that it will be a php in the end all right control x y now let's see for this one we just need to change a couple parameters this is the classic 
PHP reverse show. Today I'm not feeling this. I'll leave one, two, three, four as the default port. Uh, and I'll just grab my VPN tunnel is IP. They say change that, but all right, control X, Y, enter, show that HDB. I'll just move it to the downloads for easy uploading. All right, then we'll do a netcat LVMP on one, two, three, four. That's the default port that they had. I'll go here. Now say I'm submitting a ticket. Let's go to my downloads. Shell.hdb is here. Open it. Submit. All right. So the problem is where did this file go? We can use GoBuster, I mean, Burp Suite, to see if we can track it down to see where they are uploading the file. But for now, I think I found slash uploads earlier. Yeah, there was slash uploads from GoBuster. Shell.hdb. Was it uploads or upload? Let's see. Oh, I cleared the, the screen. Never mind. I think it was uploads. Shell.hdb. Now, yes, it's hanging, it's spinning. That's a good sign. Let's go here and we're in. LS ID is running as WW data. So we'll copy that. Here is what they were asking. What is the web server running as? It's data. Perfect. So I'm in the flag located in increase users home directory. Sure, we can track that one down. But here we need to stabilize this shell a little bit. Fine. Uh, let's stabilize the shell. They're giving us a document. There we go. It's either Python or Python 3. We'll find out very soon here. I just want to show that works. I could have asked for which Python, but there we go. I don't want to do the rest of that. I probably won't be able to clear. CD search home. LS CD Chris. LS cat user dot text. So we can read the flag on Chris's home directory. Let's check to see if we can find anything juicy there as well. But let's give them the flag first. All right, we found the flag. We have two more tasks here. What is a full path to the non-standard binary? So we need an SUID. Just need a one-liner. Okay, we'll borrow this one here, the find command. This is not the one that I usually use. We'll borrow that. All right, so what we're looking at here is any SUIDs that are not default, like the SU amount, these are usually default. We're looking for custom ones. And on top here, we have var XDB being emergency. This one was also, I haven't seen this one, but the emergency one looks interesting. So we need to find a way to elevate our privileges using that one. So let's run it. Find out what happens if we just run that. Is it asking for any particular information? Okay, this will be silly if it's actually root now. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if this was the intended way or someone is on the box with me, but I'm root. I just ran the SUID. I found an SUID bit set on the emergency. Either they left a back door or something. Let's see here if this will give us a hint. So I mean the flag located in the Chris users directory. We just did that. Uh, what is the full path to non-standard binary? Uh, we found this one here. It's not a standard binary with SUIDs. So this will confirm for us whether or not we found the correct one. Okay, so I mean the flag located on the root swarm directory. I guess that was the intended way. CD slash root, get root dot text. Wow, what a quick, fun little machine. A little bit of CTF stuff in there, too much baked in. Nonetheless, it's good practice for us. So as you can see, we pawned the machine and this was a fun little way of learning. So if you really enjoy this, please remember to like, subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are on this guided mode from Hack the Box that we are doing here. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. We have completed our task and I hope to see you next time.